so the questions about target therapies in stage three uh, lung cancer. Absolutely, yes, I do. Uh, this is a patient population that is curable by definition, yet we have not achieved a significant uh, cure rate for this population. It's about 20 to 25 percent. So all those great advances that we have seen in patients that have incurable disease could be eventually translated for those who could be cured in any small benefit will increase actually the rates of cure. There have been some interesting studies of targeted therapies in patients stage three, and uh, the RTOG has now launched a very interesting study where patients that have either EGFR mutation or out fusion, they'll be treated with targeted therapies before chemotherapy and radiation. So this will, if this study uh, leads to improved survival for this approach compared to chemotherapy and radiation alone, this will pave the way for new studies using a similar strategy. Now, this study just uh, started accrual. I looked at the website yesterday where two patients accrued. We opened in our institution already. This is nationwide, 220 plus sites opened this study. Any patient should be tried for this, uh, especially because it may really increase the chance of cure, not just prolonged survival, as in patients with metastatic disease. I believe that in about three years, we should have some sort of results. Now, this, the target therapy is not used forever, it's used for 12 weeks leading into the chemotherapy and radiation. There's always a concern that this may not work and patients that are potentially curable may miss the chance of cure if the tumor is growing during this treatment. So the patients will have a CAT scan at the six week mark to see if this is working or not. The odds are that the tumor will decrease significantly on that. We have been somewhat traumatized by a, a not so recent study where patients got chemotherapy and radiation followed by a drug called gefitinib, which is an EGFR inhibitor. This is the SWOG0023. Unfortunately, patients that got gefitinib had a worse survival. There was an unselected patients, a completely different setting. This study is very likely to succeed. It's very likely to be a positive study, and other targets should be used in the same way. Just the proof of concept that we're doing right now.